The sun is also a star, pages 49 through 50. Daniel, since I'm letting the universe dictate my life on this final day of childhood, I don't bother waiting for another train to take me to 34th Street. The conductor said to go find God. Maybe he or she, but who are we kidding? God's definitely a guy. How else to explain war, pestilence, and morning wood? Is it is right here in Times Squares and just waiting to be found? As soon as I'm on the street, though, I remember that Times Square is a kind of hell. A fiery pit of flickering neon signs advertising all the seven deadly sins. God would never hang out there. Out here. I walk down 7th Avenue towards my barber, keeping my eye out for some kind of sign. On 37th, I spot a church. I climb the stairs and try the door, but it's locked. God must be sleeping in. I look left and right, still no sign. I'm looking for something subtle. Along the lines of long-haired men, man turning water into wine and holding a place card, proclaiming himself to be Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Suit be damned, I sit down on the steps. Back across the street, people are making their way around a girl who is swaying slightly. She's black with an enormous curly afro and almost as enormous pink headphones. The headphones are the kind that have the giant ear pads for blocking out sound, also the rest of the world. Her eyes are closed and she has one hand over her art. She's completely blissed out. The whole thing lasts about five seconds before she opens her eyes. She looks around, hunches her shoulders like she's embarrassed, and hurries away. Whatever she's listening to must be amazing to cause herself to lose cause her to lose herself right there in the middle of the sidewalk in New York City. The only thing I've ever felt that way about is writing poetry, and that can never go anywhere. I'd give anything to really want the life my parents want for me. Life would be easier if I were passionate about wanting to be a doctor. Being a doctor seems like one of those things you're supposed to be passionate about, saving lives and all that. But all I feel is meh. I watch as she walks away. She moves her backpack to one shoulder, and I see it, Deuce Ex Machia, printed in big white letters on the back of her leather jacket. God from the machine. I hear the conductor's voice in my head and wonder if it's a sign. I'm usually not usually a stalker, and I'm not following her exactly. I'm maintaining a non-creepy half-black distance between us. She goes into a store called Second Coming Records. I shit you not. I know now it's definitely a sign, and I'm serious about blowing with the wind today. I want to know where this leads.